Elon Musk has confirmed a bold new direction. SpaceX plans to send Starship directly to Mars in 2026, carrying its first real payload for the Red Planet. The cargo isn't symbolic. It's the foundation for future human missions and could bring billions to Musk's empire, all while disrupting NASA's Lunar First strategy. A calculated risk or the smartest move in modern space history? Let's dive right in. Elon Musk has confirmed a bold new direction. SpaceX will send Starship directly to Mars in 2026, carrying its first real payload to the Red Planet. This isn't another test flight or symbolic mission. It's a calculated strike, a move that could redefine NASA's entire Lunar First Roadmap and shift the balance of power in space exploration. Because this time, the genius isn't in the rocket, it's in the plan behind it. When Musk publicly stated that Starship's first uncrewed mission to Mars would lift off at the end of next year, the reaction from NASA's inner circle was disbelief. For decades, the agency has treated the moon as a mandatory checkpoint before Mars, a place to test habitats, power systems, and crew operations. But SpaceX? They're skipping the checkpoint, going straight for the goal. Musk's confidence wasn't based on hype. It was backed by milestones. The Starship Block 3 variant, equipped with upgraded thermal tiles, extended propellant tanks, and rapid refueling systems, is already scheduled for flight by October this year. By 2025, SpaceX will begin orbital refueling trials, the final technology needed to sustain a Mars mission. That timing perfectly aligns with the next Mars launch window between October and December 2026. If successful, this would make SpaceX the first private company in history to send a fully reusable rocket to another planet. But even more intriguing than the rocket itself is what's inside it. In August 2025, SpaceX quietly signed an agreement with the Italian Space Agency, ASI, a first-of-its-kind contract to transport scientific payloads to Mars using Starship. No press conference, no fanfare, just a short statement from SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell. We're excited to work with ASI on this first-of-its-kind mission to Mars. More to come. This single deal changed everything. For the first time, a national space agency was paying SpaceX, not NASA, to deliver cargo to another planet. It was the first real sign that Elon Musk's Mars dream had evolved into a global business. The ASI payload isn't flashy, but it's strategically brilliant. It includes radiation sensors to map exposure levels during the journey and on the surface, plant growth experiments to determine which crops can survive under Mars gravity and CO2 atmosphere, a compact weather station to monitor temperature, wind, and pressure across multiple Martian days. On paper, it looks like simple science, but beneath the surface, it's Musk's ultimate shortcut. Under the contract, SpaceX receives all collected data directly from ASI, data NASA spent decades and billions to gather with rovers. This includes radiation exposure levels, soil behavior, and environmental readings critical for future human missions. In essence, Musk just outsourced his Martian R&D and got someone else to pay for it. It's a move that accelerates his Mars program by years while saving hundreds of millions in research costs. And yet, the biggest surprise isn't coming from Italy. It's coming from Tesla. Alongside the scientific instruments, Musk plans to send Optimus, the humanoid robot developed by Tesla. At first, it sounded like a publicity stunt, a Tesla robot walking on Mars. But when you look deeper, the logic becomes undeniable. Optimus is designed for repetitive, dangerous, or high-risk tasks. On Earth, it's been assembling cars in Tesla's gigafactories. On Mars, it will perform environmental surveys, collect soil samples, and test the feasibility of surface construction. Instead of risking human lives in the early phase, Musk is sending a machine that never sleeps, never complains, and never needs oxygen. That's not hype, it's efficiency. And there's another layer to this strategy. When the world sees a humanoid robot walking across the Martian surface for the first time, the psychological impact will be enormous. 
the media won't just say SpaceX did it. They'll say Tesla built the first robot to explore another planet. That's global brand synergy. And Musk is the only person in history who could pull it off. Back in 2018, the Falcon Heavy launch featuring a red Tesla Roadster generated over $5 billion in global ad value. Now imagine what a robot on Mars will do for SpaceX's credibility, for Tesla's stock, and for the idea of a Musk-led civilization beyond Earth. This is the real genius. Every mission builds both science and business value simultaneously. NASA builds milestones. Musk builds momentum. Inside NASA, the reaction has been mixed. Admiration mixed with quiet anxiety. For years, NASA's Artemis program was supposed to lay the foundation for Mars exploration. Now SpaceX might arrive first, with private funding, independent infrastructure, and a faster timeline. Sources from the Johnson Space Center admit that Starship Block 3's modular design and fuel transfer system are changing what we thought was possible. If orbital refueling succeeds, Starship could be the only existing vehicle capable of sending heavy cargo to Mars and returning safely. And that's where NASA faces its hardest truth. For the first time in history, the most advanced space technology isn't controlled by a government agency. It's owned by a private company. Publicly, NASA praises SpaceX as a partner. Privately, they're aware that partnership could turn into dependence. Because if Starship becomes the backbone of both lunar and Martian transport, NASA will have no choice but to rent access to Mars from SpaceX. It's a subtle but powerful shift from leadership to reliance, from public funding to private dominance, and it's already happening. Critics argue that skipping the moon is reckless, but from a systems engineering perspective, Musk's logic holds. Here's why. Orbital refueling removes the need for a lunar base as a staging point. Reusable Starship variants cut per launch cost by over 80%. Data sharing deals like the ASI partnership accelerate research without government bureaucracy. And cross-company integration, Tesla AI, Starlink communication, SpaceX hardware, creates a self-reinforcing ecosystem. Each piece feeds the next. Starlink provides comms for Mars operations. Optimus automates surface setup. Tesla AI processes real-time data for remote decision-making. It's not chaos, it's coordination. Musk isn't just sending a rocket. He's exporting an entire industrial system to another planet. A closed loop where every company under his control serves the same ultimate mission, make Mars livable. That's the kind of thinking that NASA, bound by political cycles and budgets, simply can't replicate. If this 2026 mission succeeds, it will trigger one of the biggest paradigm shifts in human history. SpaceX won't just prove that a private company can reach Mars. It will prove that governments are no longer the only players shaping the future of humanity in space. Once Starship delivers its payload and Optimus begins surface operations, every space agency, NASA, ESA, even China, will face the same question. Should they compete or should they collaborate under SpaceX's lead? And that's where the story takes its quiet, dramatic turn. Because the moment Starship lands safely on Mars, SpaceX will hold something no one else has. The data, the capability, and the infrastructure to define how Mars development begins. That's more than achievement. That's authority. And it could redefine the rules of exploration for the next century. The space race of the past was about national pride. The new one is about influence, economics, and technological dominance. China is developing its own lunar base. NASA is building the Gateway Station. And Europe is focusing on orbital research. Yet all of them might soon rely on a rocket designed in Texas by a private company whose CEO wants to colonize another world. So the question isn't just, can SpaceX reach Mars? It's what happens when they do before anyone else. Because if one man can build a vehicle that changes how humanity moves between planets, the definition of space power will never be the same again. And 2026 might not just be a milestone, it might be the year that human history splits in two, before Starship and after it. And this is exactly why Elon Musk's 2026 Mars plan is a turning point, not just for SpaceX, but for the future of human space exploration. 
What this means is clear. We're no longer waiting for the next giant leap. It's already happening. The race to Mars has begun, and whoever leads it will shape humanity's next frontier. As SpaceX prepares for the first interplanetary Starship mission, the real question is, can NASA or anyone else keep up? Share your thoughts below. Do you believe 2026 will mark the first step toward a permanent human presence on Mars? If you found this breakdown valuable, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Space Hub for more deep, fact-based insights into the breakthroughs shaping our future beyond Earth. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss the next big move in space history.